Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Curve Acres. Just thought I'd do a quick update on what I've got going on right now. <coughs> Pardon me, my allergies have been annoying me lately. It's that time of year. Anyways, we'll start up here in my office slash craft room. And right here, I have some very, very tiny bee balm seeds. These are bee balm panorama, I think it's called. Um, anyways, these I had actually collected from my own plants outside and they sat in a cup for a couple of years. So I figured, well, let's see if they're any good. So I threw them in. So these will go throughout the garden this year to add some nice color and uh, get the bees spread out throughout the yard. Because that was an issue I seemed to have last year where they didn't really want to go very far. Uh, they weren't down further in the garden where I wanted them. But this is just, these are just in a uh, Chinese food takeout container and then put inside a mini greenhouse, which is actually from, if you get wings or chicken tenders or ribs from Independent or Zares or wherever, whatever you happen to have in your area. <clears throat> so up here I also have a tomato. This was a cutting from one that had decided to grow wild in a flower pot. And again, I had some old seeds and I wasn't sure if they were viable anymore. And I actually have been getting some very pretty little poppies. So these are all up in the grow room. I have a nice chauffeur cutting and pardon the mess. Um, this is a uh, hot pink geranium, which was a cutting off of one that I got from my mom. So I don't know if you remember a while ago, I showed you the Ahi Sugar Rush Peach that were started back in September. So these ones are actually getting some really nice pods on them. This one is, you can't really see because that... That leaves in the way but this one's almost starting to go almost a yellowy color so who knows hopefully it'll be right by the end of summer but I have six plants up here in the hallway window and this is a south window so it gets if the Sun bothers to shine it gets full Sun so down here in the living room this is that uh, that unit that we brought home from the reuse center and fixed up. So I have my Roma Beauty tomatoes, or tomatoes, um, apples, which were from the seeds from Troll Forge. I have one avocado. I don't know if it's going to start or not. We'll see. I threw it in. I have four Ferris wheel uh, tomatoes started. I've got some borage coming up. Basil's doing well. Now these were started just on the 15th of March, but basil always performs well. Um, I tried to start some oregano. It usually takes a while. I think that's weed in there. And then I have a few of the tomato clippings. <clears throat> Pardon me. Again, I have some tomato plants that came up. And whenever, what I've been doing is whenever they've uh, sent out a runner or um, a sucker, if I haven't caught it in time and it's big enough, I throw it in the water. Let them start to root, which these ones are, are starting to do. Uh, get this back in there. And then pop them into the soil. Behind that, I have some Swiss chard starting to come up. Again, I started these on the 15th of uh, March, but we have a few popping up. Hopefully the rest will 
uh, make a showing soon. And then I had to clip back my double hibiscus, so I threw that in water. It's, it always worked for my mom to start the hibiscus that way, so we'll see if I can do that too. So now let's go see what's going on in the basement. So, pardon me. So down here, I've started only one flat so far. And that's fine because I'm really trying this year to only start them as, a, as they are needed. Um, so those that are supposed to be started at the uh, 10 to 12 week period, starting them then, like before last frost, those that are need the uh, six weeks, starting them six weeks before last frost, and so on. And hopefully this will mean I won't have quite so many leggy uh, plants this year. But these I just started on Monday, and already the hyssop and the pink spiky flower, which we don't know what it really is, have started to come up, which I think is wonderful. Any plant that wants to uh, really push forth and come out early, I'm happy with. Uh, the hyssop and the pink, uh, spiky pink flower were both sent to me along with the purple bumblebee, which you'll see in a second, um, by Marie Curry. So then I also have Lovage. Sweet All Sorts Peppers from Mr. Fotheringale's. Sweet Carnival Blend Peppers from Burpees. I figure we'll see which one's better. And then I've got some Roma, some White Currant, Purple Bumblebee, Datura, and more Borage. Alright, so I thought I'd end with the my four-year-old sage plants which I started from seed and they've always come in in the for the winter and you can see that this one is actually starting to bloom and I'm letting it do that because I do want the seeds from it so I can start more and then speaking of seeds this beautiful hibiscus is putting out oops, a giant seed head so I think I'll give that a shot just for fun but we'll see how that goes. But you've got to admit, that is just beautiful. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video, quick update on some of the things I've got growing. And also to let you know that on Friday nights at 6.30 till 7, I'm going to be doing a Friday night check-in where... Oh, you know, just, it'll be a live stream, pop on, let me know how you're doing, Make let me know everyone's well, uh, let's talk about what, what we're doing, what we've got going on, and I think it'll just be a really nice boost to everybody's morale to have a nice, a nice quick chat on Friday nights, so I hope you'll be able to join us. All right, until then. I will see you later. Bye.